This video is uh, building on the first video for the, uh, the 2016 fall comp design lab. Um, this is going to go through how to do a quick solar radiation study on any mass shape you build in the project. So starting off, for anyone who's not in the class, you always want to make sure you have your location and your true north position set correctly on any project. In this case, we've or in the previous video, we've already set up exactly where this project is, so we don't need to make any changes. The next thing we do is we go to the Analyze tab, and if you don't have Insight 360 installed, just go Google it and download it. It is a free Autodesk app that plugs directly into Revit, and today we're going to be using the Solar button on it. So let's click that. First thing it wants us to do is select the surfaces we want to analyze. Let me click down. So uh, I normally what this is doing is it's showing um, average um, average amount of energy on it or cumulative. And cumulative, you could set the time for how much, you, uh, how long. You could do a day to a year to get more. But um, right now we're doing cumulative. I changed it to BTU per square foot. Um, I'm going to go to the settings. By default, it wants to use our sun settings, and this is set for, um, I think, the summer solstice. But sometimes it's best to do a full annual study. You can change your sun settings and just do it one season or another so you can understand the solar radiation per season. But here, let's just start off with full annual, where, where do we get hit the most by sun over the course of the entire year. Then we can always go back and break it down by um, the seasons using our sun settings and switching this back to use sun settings. So I'm going to stick with full annual. Um, and then we have to select everything. So with that, it gets this message in our way. It makes it hard to see, but we're still just selecting all the surfaces of this mass. So let it go away. And also, it's hard to sometimes see what it's waiting for. So now you don't know what to do. Up here, it's a little sneaky. It uh, brings up this Finish dialog on your Options bar. Click Finish. And you click Update. It's actually going to do um, some analysis to see how much solar radiation is hitting the building. Now, this tells you how much BTUs are on the entire building, and this is how many per square foot. One very confusing thing is the colors. Like, why is the roof yellow and the walls green? So, with that, down here, the solar analysis default is the um, legend that it's using to figure everything out. So, click on the dots. Make sure you pick the same one, solar analysis default, the one we're actually using. And you'll see what happens when I click on color. It's very frustrating, but yellow is the highest, purple is the lowest for some reason. So let's make it red's the highest, yellow is in the middle, and blue is down low. And OK. Now this makes more sense. So the other thing you're going to see is the roof is red, and all of your walls are much cooler than the roof. So this is, normally it can be assumed that your roof is going to be the hottest part it's catching the most sun from all directions the most times of day. So the best thing to look at is would be which walls are catching the most uh, solar radiation during the year. And right now your scale is getting blown out by the roof. So what we're going to do is click the pick tool again, tell it we don't want to see that anymore, and select the roof to deselect it. Now I'm going to Again, we have to remember that Finish shows up up here. Click Finish and Update. So now you can see better how the solar radiation is moving around the site. Now, one thing that I just noticed is even after we change this to do full annual, it's resorted back to sun settings. The way I've seen that is right here. It's saying it's saying that it's still June 21st, sunrise to sunset. So this is the um, this is the summer solstice, and that's what we're seeing when we're seeing the results on this building. So I'll show you how to change that. But 
I'm just holding down the shift key in my scroll wheel, spinning around, and you can start to see where the cooler spots are and obviously where the hotter spots are on the facades of this building. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to change my sun settings. And I'm going to do, you could do one day all, all year, or we can just do multi-day. And we can do a one-year solar study. So sunrise to sunset. Okay. Now I'm going to hit update and see what we get. All right. So now we're a little better at understanding where our hot and cool spots are. You can spin around the building. This is one year solar study of the cumulative BTUs striking the surface of the building. You can save an image of this. You can change the time to save an image. All you do is, for one, make sure, let's make sure we're cropping this down correctly. So turn on your crop region. I'm going to turn off our sun path. And you'll see we even have a little legend that pops up and tells us what we're seeing. So red is 1, 000, about 1,000 BTUs a square foot. Uh, yellow tends to be about 500 and blue is zero. It's not catching any heat. And that's over the course of the year. So with that, let's just, we can export an image out. Export and scroll on down to images. And you can save that wherever you want to. It's going to export at the scale of the drawing. So if you want it bigger than an eighth of an inch is equal to a foot, you'd have to change the scale of the drawing. And you can then you just tell it, I want it to be 100% of the size and at least 150 if you're planning on showing this to anything. So do, you can do that for getting images out. You can duplicate the view so that you can have different views at the same time. Um, but what we're also going, what I'm just going to do now, is show you how to do the seasons. So I'm going to switch to sun settings. Let's just do a winter, sunrise to sunset. Start, click update. So this is how it looks in the winter. You can save an image of that. Let's check fall. So up at sunset. Oh, make sure your ground plane is set to ground and not datum, at least for this model. You want whatever is closest to your ground level. So this is fall. And you can control the exact dates. So that fall one actually doesn't have much of a range. So what we probably want to do is say, I want to go straight all of fall. So let's get that correct. Update. Let's go. So now it's the entire season. These used to be set up. These defaults used to be set up for seasons. So that that's fall. Let's make sure we did win. I don't think the winner was right either. So for winter. it that way. Update. See, it's good that it keeps saying this because it looks like it switched it up on us. That's not winter. That would be, the year doesn't matter as much. That would be winter. Update. So there's, there's winter. And you can march around it, check it for different seasons, 
and see what the, the solar radiation results are. And what this will tell you are, is the places of the building that will either need more shade in the summer or need less shade in the winter when it comes to making sure your building is comfortable.